Ms. Sharp says that scarce maintenance money should only be used for maintenance. But last week, the school board agreed to take $700,000 out of the maintenance budget to build a new project. The new project is a music recording studio at Penn Griffin School of the Arts in High Point. School board member Anita Sharp says she supports the project, but during a work session of the board last week, she raised a question about it. What is the source of funding? So the source is capital funds. Sharp, who has served 24 years on the school board, says she was taken aback by the answer. We should not be using maintenance dollars in that way. We should be using maintenance dollars for roofs and air conditioners, etc. that kind of thing. During last week's meeting, Sharp noted the school system recently earned some $2 million from the sale of the former Jesse Wharton School in Greensboro. Would it not be a better move to take these funds from that $2 million rather than the ongoing maintenance dollars? So if we find that we have an emergency, we certainly can do that. A study several years ago found Guilford County schools needed more than a billion dollars to renovate and update its schools. Superintendent Sharon Contreras testified on Capitol Hill seeking more federal money. It's just gotten so out of control, so big, that no community can do this on its own. Two months from now, Guilford County voters will decide the fate of a nearly $2 billion school bond, including a quarter of a cent sales tax hike. The county website says the money will address, quote, mounting facility needs for our aging and outdated Guilford County Public Schools. School board member Anita Sharp, who tells WXII 12 News she will likely not seek re-election to the board this year, says she doesn't know why school leaders decided to use maintenance money for a capital project. If you're surprised by the answer, why didn't you inquire why they were using maintenance funds for a capital outlay? That's a good question. I don't know. I can't answer that. And in, the, in the shock of the moment. We asked the school system for their reasons for using the maintenance money on this project. According to a statement from the schools, the Pengriffin program is supported by a federal grant. Quote, we are using annual capital maintenance dollars on the facilities component of the project, which was our local commitment to take advantage of the grant. Now, it's not clear what capital maintenance dollars are or how that differs from the maintenance budget. Our request for an interview was not granted. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.